If you've been following the show for a while, you know that I've said multiple times that Cadillac is the textbook case of how to reinvent a brand, and the CTS is the foundation for that reinvention. In its first generation, they gave us a competent driver's car. In its second generation, they rounded the figurative edges. Now it's in its third generation, and I would argue this is the first American car since Bob Lutz started at General Motors, the first time that they've gotten everything right. It's so important, rather than me blabber on about it, I'm going to bring in the guy that actually built it, Cadillac's chief engineer, David Leone, and he's not only going to give us a deep technical dive on this car, he's going to give us the logic on how to build a proper driver's car. How do you make a car go faster with more power and less weight? We took out 250 pounds going from 2013 to 2014. One of the ways that we did that was by use of aluminum doors. The current car has steel doors. The new vehicle has all aluminum doors, front and rear. It's a 55 pound savings, 33 in the front, 22 in the rear. We wanted to create a model between the standard CTS sedan and the V-Series. We went to our engine team, said, what can you do? They said, well, we could probably throw a couple of turbos on that 3.6 and get you close to 400 horsepower. You know what? They over-delivered. They came through with an eight-speed transmission, 420 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque. I worked for General Motors for 34 years, and I don't care whether you're talking about sports cars or luxury sedans, weight distribution is a very important element to get the most performance out of the car. One of the areas that we took significant weight out was the front cradle. This is the part that the engine sits on, the suspension attaches to. Our current design for 2013 is made of steel. It comes in at 61 pounds. New for 2014, we went to an all aluminum front cradle. It's made of aluminum extrusions and castings. and It comes in at 24.6 pounds. We took 60% of the weight out and that enables our 50-50 weight distribution. I know Mean Gene showed you this on the ATS. Very similarly on the new CTS, we've got straight line cross member here where the lower control arm is directly in line with the front cross member. And what that gives us is not only a very lightweight design, it gives us the stiffest possible geometry where when you steer this, the loads for the front lower handling link here go directly into the stiffest part of the front cross member. That's what generates the steering response. Why haven't we done this before? Mass reduction has never been as critical. With a government mandating 35.5 miles per gallon corporate average fuel economy for 2016, mass reduction is paramount. Here's a case where what you don't see, you won't miss. Conventional thinking would be if you made a part out of magnesium, it would be lighter than a part out of aluminum. Not the case here. 2013 uses a magnesium instrument panel beam and it weighs 21.6 pounds. This is the part that supports the instrument panel and goes from door to door behind the cluster and the radio. New for 2014, we went to a tubular aluminum structure, came in at 14.4 pounds. We saved 36% of the weight with this new design and it's stiffer. I know I'm not mean gene, but I gotta talk about welding and steel. The bumper beam on the 2013 is a multitude of reinforcements and pieces welded together that come in at 21.1 pounds. There's probably two feet of welding. There's a half a dozen different brackets and reinforcements. For 2014, we went to an aluminum extrusion that's roll formed comes in at eight pounds and we save 60% of the weight. I'm Italian, I'm gonna give you a cooking analogy. When you were rolling out the dough, making the cookies or the pizza with your mom, the harder you pressed on the roller, the thinner the material got. That's exactly what we're doing with the steel here. We vary the pressure on the roller as the steel's going through the mill and we can change the thickness of the steel on the B-pillar. Press the least in the middle, we get a 1.9 millimeter thickness in the middle we press harder, we get 1.4 millimeters at top and bottom. It allows us to put the stiffness and the strength right where we need it and not have to carry it elsewhere. This is what we did on the B-pillar, which is the structural part that goes between the front and rear doors. We were able to take out over six pounds by using this technique. In addition, 
we go ahead and scallop the flanges, another cooking analogy. The scalloping is where we remove material that's very lightly stressed. And through doing this throughout the vehicle, on the motor compartment rails, the B pillars, and the underbody rails, we went ahead and saved approximately six pounds as well. Would you believe me if I told you a Cadillac would go 172 miles an hour? And it's not just about horsepower, it's not just about lightweight, it's also about aerodynamics. This car has a coefficient of drag of 0.29 CD. How do we do it? We put smooth panels underneath the vehicle so we have laminar airflow under the car from front to rear. We have an aero panel between the front bumper and the front cradle. We have a panel underneath the engine and transmission assembly. We have panels that run under the floor pan that provide not only smooth laminar flow for aerodynamics, they also provide improved road noise performance. We have panels underneath the fuel tank. We have a tire deflector. At the forward end of the rear tire, this deflects the air away from the rotating tire. We have panels on the bottom of the rear lower control arms for smooth flow. And then last but not least, we have panels at the rear around the muffler and the rear bumper, allowing that air to exit the rear of the vehicle very smoothly, again, generating 0.29 CD and capable of 172 miles an hour. So click here to watch one of our 250 other episodes, click here to subscribe, and can we ask you guys a favor? Can you watch these within the first 36 hours? Because it gets us more views, which gets us more dollars, which gets you more episodes. And of course, follow us, Motoman TV, all one word, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you guys next time.